when the two of you arrived, your shirt sales at Old Trafford surpassed the sales of the men's shirts. I mean, did you expect that kind of reaction to your arrival? Certainly not. I, I mean, I wasn't thinking about it at all, honestly, until until I read the news, same as you. Um, but it is something that uh, I'm really proud of because, especially in the United States, we fight a battle every day to prove our value and prove our worth. So things like jersey sales doing really well is actually really important for us because it proves uh, to the pockets that this is something worth worth investing in. How do you think the view of women's football here in, in the UK compares to, to that in the United States? I think that with the amount of great players that have come to England um, and with kind of the change of sports culture that's happened with COVID, there's a huge opportunity for, for women's football to be put um, equally uh, to men's and to be shown on the same channels at the same times and to be given that same respect. It will also give kind of this beacon for other countries, other federations to look to and say, they're doing that, we should be doing that. And it's an example for everyone to follow. So it is something that we have to continue to fight for. And without the success that we have on the field, we wouldn't be able to push that boundary off the field. And just as we are pioneers, you know, in our sport, because women's football is very young in comparison, we are pioneers in this, you know, global equality that needs to exist and an opportunity that needs to exist for all. And I think that's the message that people want to see and that people want to root for. People don't want to just root for a team anymore. They want to root for something more. Often women are accused of fighting against each other. How do you think being part of a, of a women's football team has helped you maybe have a, a different perspective on that? Culture has often taught that you know we have scarcity that it's either mine or yours and we have to fight for that um but my personal belief is that the world is abundant um and that the more that you give is the more that you get and i think programs like the stacy's rise project where they're lifting up other female entrepreneurs is exactly that it's starting to show that you know when women win everybody wins because diversity is important it's essential to, to keep pushing the needle forward yeah i think this is actually what attracted me to the rise project was this idea of female mentorship because it is a very organic thing in football to have that you know you come on to the national team and you're a young player and the older more experienced players kind of take you under their wing and show you the ropes one thing, of course, that is very much ongoing, and I know we can't go into the specifics, is the fight for equal pay for the US women's team in the United States. What would it mean to you to win that fight? I think it's bigger than anything we could ever win in football. And the reason I say that is because in football, even by winning a World Cup, you know, you inspire that next generation uh, of girls playing soccer and even in sport. but but in this, you can inspire the whole entire world to be treated equally and to pay, be paid equally. And that far outweighs anything I could ever do on the field. The whole team knows, we talk about all the time, we will get very little personally from, um, from winning the lawsuit. Um, but we do it because it will greatly impact the future. Um, within the game, it'll create resources for players, hopefully globally. And then it sets a precedent that women in all jobs, in all careers, um, have a stake, have some space. And I think that's one of our strengths as a team in fighting this lawsuit is we have strong, powerful women all around us all the time. And our norm is not the world's norm. We're used to seeing women as leaders, as women as life changers, um, game changers, uh, world changers. And, and so that, that I think is, is our superpower and that's how we're, we're getting through what is ultimately a hard, a hard fight.